All right. My name is Ryan Arzi. I'm here at AWSI with Foley Magazine. And I also have Clinton here from Airrush. And we've got some really exciting new wings to look at. We've got the team here here and then the go right here. And so I'll leave it to him to do some introduction on these new wings. Okay, well, um, we've got some very exciting products and we're really, really uh, stoked. And this is kind of on the two sides of, of our product range. And I think I think starting with the Go, that's a very really exciting product for me. So essentially what we've done with the Go is really focused on making a wing that's very accessible, you know, what, what we always call accessible performance. So it's, it's designed to have a lot of low end power. It's also what we call compact geometry. So if you have a look at the wing, yeah, the whole wing is designed that it's very easy to keep the tips out of the water, generates a lot of speed and power. It's got to really have a high amount of visibility. So for people who are, you know, really focused on, on, uh, something that's easy to see through, easy to get going. Right. And, uh, generates a lot of power for its size, like a lot of positive backhand pressure. So all of those things together. Yeah, make something that's that's very accessible, and it, it's also ideal if you go to what's the bigger sizes or people who want to specifically use a smaller wing and generate as much lift as possible. And the Go has been a really interesting foundation to work from. Right, but one thing getting people into the sport, but also people that you know want to have a bigger wing with a more compact geometry that makes it ideal. Totally, you can see that how how much the wing tips are pulled in. And you really notice that, yeah, in the in the larger wings, or also when people are not necessarily on foil, right? Very important to yeah. have a wing that's yeah you know, that you don't catch the tips because the number one thing when people are getting into the sport, they tend to dig the wing tip into the water. I do a lot of that, and then yeah, you know, end up falling over yeah. the front, um, yeah, before they get on foil. And then also when you're using a bigger wing, it's quite preferable to have a have a lower aspect geometry that also gives you a slightly longer. Boom, and then you know, so you get a little bit more positive backhand pressure for a loop. Yeah, yeah, and I see that you know you have multiple handle the handles on this one. Yeah, so you have the front, and the middle, and then the the rear handle. Now, so really focusing when when uh, people are getting into learning how to wing, they have a tendency on the bigger sizes as well to back them to reach back into the access handle. Right, and so this really allows you to do that very easily. Um, as as the um, you know booms quite. Longer, especially when you get to bigger wing, having like a first grand handle helps with with um, doing that. And then another unique point for us was using a waist leash. Yeah, so it's like a, a, a lot of you know, first time wingers they want to have their hands free mm -hmm. is from a security from you know being able to maneuver the board, and the waist leash allows them to have much more freedom and um, you know to to pick up the wing, hold it, get more comfortable. Totally, that's right. Yeah. And then, so yeah, you've got most full windows on here as well. And then it looks like this is the 5.5. Five. Yeah. So we get look as big as a 5.5 five than you think would. So it's that compact geometry. And then that's the 6.5. Yeah. The 6.5 yeah. will be the biggest. The 6.5 yeah. has got a lot of bottom in. Get right. Get you going really, you know, up soon. Boot quite a deep canopy profile in all the, the goes, but still, you know, spend a lot of time managing the tension in the trailing edge. So even... You, when you're running in higher winds, it can still deal with the, the higher winds. And that compact geometry makes it quite easy to handle when it gets overpowered. Nice. And so the range is, uh, start, or it goes to 6.5 and then what are the, the increments? Yeah, then one meter increments right onto 2.5. Cool. So, yeah, it's really kind of a, a simple range in three different color options. And um, yeah, like I said, focusing on the high visibility, lots of low end power. Yeah, and super easy to do. Awesome. They look like candy. Yeah, we could, so would you use this for any other application than just wing foiling? Yeah, I think specifically in in the uh, compact geometry, it's really ideal. Like if you say going on a skate or on snow, but something again where you're not on foil. Right. Uh, that's really yeah. a unique application. That's cool. Tell yeah. me about the the team air. Yeah. yeah. So the air team is a really uh, breakthrough product for us. Um, you know, the concept behind the air team is we have the go. Right. And we have the air and then what we developed is the air team. And the concept behind the air team is something that's essentially our highest performance free riding product. So really pushing, you know, the free ride boundaries, which, you know, we go from regular free ride to downwinding to wave riding to freestyling in the more, you know, towards the more high end section. What we focused there was combining maximum durability, you know, 
minimize weights as much as possible and then just overall kind of high performance in a free ride um that right space and this leading edge looks pretty unique is this a new material so this is who keeper and in this material we have uh there we we've run it for um this is going into its second year so we are they are really but more and more comfortable with the fabric the idea with the who keeper it means you can run a high pressure leading edge so we're running like up to 16 psi no way on the leading edges and what that does is gives you a very stiff airflow 16 gears. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. So it means um, there we get very stiff airframe, but then you can still have, you know, all the durability yeah. using it in surf that the who keepers really, really proven itself. Wow. Absolutely the most durable material on the market. And this is a woven ultra PE. So ultra PE also known like by the name of Dyneema or Spectra. So we use it here in a woven form. That means you get great stitch holding. You can run really high amount of pressure in the wing, and it's also a relatively lightweight fabric at 120 right. grams, where Dacron would be 160 grams per square meter. Wow. So you're never going to have that in. Yes. So you have a, a benefit of that, and also be it the benefit of if you're able to run higher pressure, you can run smaller leading edges, and then you can reduce the weight further. So then your bladder weight's less, your fabric weight's a bit. And then it probably makes it way more efficient for upwind angle thing. Well, exactly, exactly. So that's what you really will feel on the air teams is you're going to feel very lightweight, very lightweight to flag out. Right. Um, really great upwind angle, a lot of top speed. So you know, going into that aspect of, of the wing, I think uh, a big point for us is also the handle system. If you have a look through the, the handle systems over here, we have the option of hard handles or what we call the firm flex handle. Right. So the firm flex handle is, it's a injection molded part. So it's a sort of comfortable part. It's, it's um, very stiff for a soft handle in terms of it's got an insert, it's got an anti-twist insert, and it's got a, a molded part that runs inside. So you can feel that you still have a lot of stiffness. That's... That's uh, very popular with the wave riding and downwinding crew, where they have want to have that option. You, you, you know, through the modularity, you're really able to to vary your handle configurations as much as possible. What's wrap? To look for like pop, and then so you just pop out the screws and you put the hard handles on, huh? Exactly. So if you have a look over here, for example, you can also have the option of fitting a hard handle on the front, right, and running the firm flex handles throughout you know the the body of the wing if you if you look on this here we're running the hard handle system so it's literally yeah. deflate the wing unscrew change the handles and uh giving you the option of each yeah but a wrap and so that these hard handles are are padded that looks like yeah so that's an eva grip hard handle with the rubberized edging to protect the board nice yeah and and really make them super comfortable to run and uh, it looks like a new canopy material as well. Yeah, that's that's a very exciting material. I can make a little demonstration. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So if you want to, all right, I'll hold, you would hold that. Oh. So for example, if you do have a foil impact like that, right? But it, traditionally, like with a fabric, you would just start. The fabric would start to tear. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is is we've developed working with Challenge Sail Club a really unique. Uh, um, Ultra PE X that that is laminated into the fabric. So this this really saves when you have puncturing. Firstly, the material is a lot stronger because you have the stiffness of the Ultra PE. It's a three stage material. So you have the regular woven backing. Right. Imagine that's similar to a lightweight canopy. Then you have your Ultra PE X, and then on top of that you have a lightweight. So you have absolutely minimum stretch. They have really have maximum impact protection, and if you do manage to damage the fabric, you have like a really high amounts of ripstop. Right. Uh, so it means that you can uh, literally put your foil through your wing if you ever do that. Look at that. And the wing's still around. It's having the way to see. So that's that's been a very very important. Um, it seems like a really on a seat, right? God. Don't. Well, about. If you have grave or take a mistake and put your foil through it, you don't want it to expand any more than it. Now, I'm so happy. Yeah, so that's that's been a you know a lot of development into this, and this this material is called Ultra X. And it almost seems like the 
film makes it more uh, water resistant. So it probably would stay light even once it's wet and you water. Yeah. So in terms of that, then also the one side of the material is completely water repellent. It's also, you have a coating on the fabric to mineralize the amount of water absorption in it. And then the combination for us is traditionally the canopies. Yeah, we did so much work in the frames that you ended up with a very, very durable frame, high pressure frame can and deal with, with the huge amount of, of abuse. And then the concept was to take that technology into the body of the, of the wing as well. Awesome. And so you recommend that it gets inflated up to 16 PS times or is it depending on the size? So as you get towards the bigger wing, yeah. you, you would run those say up to 12 for sure. Um, and then as you get to the smaller sizes with the narrow diameter, you run them at a higher brick. Cool. And then what are the sizes for, for this range? So we, we started a six meter going down to a three meter in half size increments. Nice. So it's, it's a very extensive range and they're really finding that people can then tailor their size, their size grouping for exactly what they're right. This is all really exciting stuff. And the fact that d- these new materials are, are allowing new pressures and also more resistance to damage is, is really impressive. I definitely want to get my hands on this and get it out in the water. Yeah, I think no. for us, really understanding the customer, the customers, there are a lot of people looking for something that's more durable or right. looking so something that's very versatile. So for all of the wings, we're really focusing on the versatility. But then when you get to the air teams, having that versatility, combining that with durability, and it's very typical, uh, you know, used for our, by our surf team, used by our freestyle team, but also very popular with the general pre-ride. For sure. And it's modular with the handle, so no shortage of options. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Clinton. I appreciate it and excited to see more of this. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. But really click that. It's so good. So considering that these are new materials, how do you see the durability and longevity of, you know, the new Hokipa Leading Edge and the new canopies? I, th- I think the real breakthrough for us with the Ultra X is, is the canopy. You know, it should give you you know, two to four times the lifespan of a, right. of a regular wing. So, you know, even if there's an additional cost, I think the, the cost benefit is something that for us is really important. So you're definitely going to get a huge amount more longevity out of the canopy and out of the leading edge, especially if you're using, they're really using the wing in the, in uh, more demanding conditions, it's right. going to be absolutely significant. So, and this seems very taut. How do you see, uh, you know, in terms of fluttering and then longevity of it bagging out it seems like this is a very solid material uh, the nice thing with this base material is because it's so stable we're really able to fill the areas with uh with um more more shaping in and then still keep the tension in the wing and know that that tension is going to remain over time and not change you know with with uh, ongoing use yeah. so you know, having absolutely minimal flutter was really really important in terms of managing the wing for downwinding when flagged out so I really think we were able to get that absolutely dialed. Perfect. In other, yeah. 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 And, and I think another thing is, is using the light colors. A very important point for us is that the light colors, they prevent the wings from overheating. So especially when you're running higher pressures. Right. And because the wings have a tendency to, to, to live um, with the leading edge and the struts facing upwards, we've always gone for a lighter color in, in all of the new products to make sure that when you're running them at higher pressures and you can optimize the pressure and you don't have to be concerned that when you leave them in the sun, that you know, under direct sunlight, you can end up having a huge amount more pressure inside. I've seen wings all well, like that. Yeah. So yeah. it's very important for us. It's very different to a kite where kites, kites are leading edge down when, they, mm. when they're being stored. Right. Uh, whereas with wings, wings are tended to have leading edge up. So that's what, again, the, the light colors are for us a, a, a great secret to to being able to run higher pressures and having better long-term durability they look great cheers